Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how you can make police vehicle artificial intelligence in Roblox Studio. So I'm not starting this video from scratch because it's going to be too long. So I made a model which you can get um, from a link that's in the description of this video. So this, the, when you click on this link, it'll go on this page and you need to be logged in and you'll see a get symbol. Just click on it and it, it, this model will be added to your toolbox. Now, after open Roblox Studio and open up a template. Go inside your toolbox and it, it will pop up like this and click on inventory and the first one that shows up, so police car vehicle AI. Press OK and close the toolbox. So, yeah, I will explain a few things. So the controller is if you want real players to drive the car or not. So if yes, enable it. If not, disable it. And the speed is how fast you want the police car to go. I put 100. I don't know what you like, but I'll keep it out at 100. And if you click on the arrow keys for the police sirens, there's a light script. So. If you run this now, the lights turn on. But if you want to turn turn it off, then um, then just disable the script. And if you ena enable the state, then the lights will only turn on if a player sits on the vehicle seat of the police car. So, anyways, now we can code the artificial intelligence. Click click on the police AI script. And also for the API, it'll show you all the functions and variables you can use in the editor. So the editor is where we write all the code for our police artificial intelligence. So first you want to um, get the target. So the target will be me. So my username is B2 on Twitch. Replace this with your username. And if vehicle target up and vehicle target left then so if i'm in front of the police car and i'm on the left side of the police car then i want the vehicle to go forward and the vehicle to turn left by 30 45 degrees and increase this number if you want to turn more and decrease if you want to turn less and we'll do the same thing for the right side. So, and vehicle target right then. So then vehicle turn right instead. If you run this, it should work perfectly. So as you can see, I'm on the right side. Right now I'm on the left side, so yeah, I'm on the right side now, so it the servo, which is this thing over here, turns right, but if I'm on the left side, it turns left, which turns the police car, and it always goes forward. The view, um, yeah, and basically, yeah. So, what happens if I'm in back? So, I want to do vehicle target back, and vehicle target left, then. Instead of going forward, I'll reverse the car. And then you want to do the same thing for the right side. Okay, so now Okay, I made a mistake, sorry about that. It's not vehicle target back, it's down. I might change down and up in the future for this model because you know it's actually back and front. So you see, I'm in back and I'm on the right side, it's turning right and it's reversing. And now that I'm on the left side, it's turning left and it's reversing. But if I'm in front of the car, so, um, like this, it will go forward and it will go right. 
I mean left. And yeah. But the thing is, if I'm in back of the police car, like behind it, it, it won't do what I want it to. I want it to spin around until it's facing me. So in, in order to do this, you won't, you need to add a debounce. And this is where the spinning debounce comes in handy. So and not spinning then. So when you run the game, it won't be spinning. So once it hits once of once it fires one of these if statements, then we will want to do spinning equals true. And then it will call this function. So for example, if it fires this if statement, it will reverse and turn left. And it will do this until this if statement or this if statement fires. And then it will drive forward again and then left or right. But the problem is if that happens and it drives forward and turns left again, but then I'm behind the police car again, it won't fire these if statements because I didn't set the spinning back to false. So to do this, just put spinning equals false here. So yeah, so, so for example, if I'm behind it, it'll fire this statement, it'll reverse, it'll turn left, it'll reverse left. So basically turn left until I'm in front of the police car and then it will drive forward and turn left or right. So let's try this. So I'm, in, I'm behind, it will spin until it faces me. See, like that. And yeah, that's how you make basic police artificial intelligence. I really enjoyed making this model for you guys. So if you guys know any ways to improve this police artificial intelligence, let me know and share the model yourself. And um, I'll try, I'll maybe do updates to this model. Not sure yet, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. See ya.